This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne of DwayneWright.com and this is the first in a series of movies that are going to give a holistic view of my in-business Soho 2.8 product. And occasionally you might see where it says 2.9 that's because I am working on revving the package uh, slightly to embrace some of the FileMaker features that were released since 2.8 was released and that would include FileMaker 10 and FileMaker 11. So it's not going to be a major update, probably no new modules or uh, extensive scripts, but mostly a, a cleaning out and embracing again some of the newer technologies that have been introduced by FileMaker. So in this particular movie, we're just going to give you an overhead view of the package itself and how some of the modules interact with each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a few moments to explore the setup of the main screen since it's going to be a foundational jumping off part for the rest of the application. You can see quickly that we do have a tab interface across the top, so we have a general about screen, some version history, which has a sub tab uh, structure, so you can see all the other notes about you know how the product evolved over time. A preferences area, and again another sub tab, so there's some preferences for invoices and purchase orders. And when you purchase the application, this may be a place where you'd put workflow specific. Um, preferences for how the application will react, uh, a license screen, some of the acknowledgments from uh, some of the great code that I leveraged from other uh, developers in the community, a web viewer to link to the in-business uh, blog on Blogger, and then a link to my website, which is going to have more of the, the latest content, including uh, the FileMaker Thoughts blog, which I update regularly with the new FileMaker type of content. So that's the tab interface on the side. Uh, on the right side we have a button dock which is which just takes you to those particular modules. And then we do have uh, an extensive use of custom menus inside of InBusiness Soho. So you would want to have FileMaker Pro Advanced if when you want to develop with it. And underneath the general tab you can see that I have taken what would normally be the FileMaker menuing system, I've went ahead and uh, condensed those all to be underneath one tab. So there's what would normally be the file menu, edit, view, that type of thing. Then a navigation area which has again the ability to leap to different um, modules and then uh, the ability to pull up a new window on the side or uh, again the entire new windowing farm, file make, uh, format that you would see in FileMaker. These are specific saved searches on a module by module basis that you know no matter where you are you can execute that be taken to that module and perform that search automatically. Same thing for the reports and then, of course the tools and help those are typical FileMaker uh, menuing items. So that is the main screen in a nutshell. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.